Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back for the final Crafty Christmas collab video for 2020. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The past few weeks, I have been sharing creations using the Christmas Delivery Paper Pack from Cartabella. This is part of Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts, Crafty Christmas Collab 2020 here on YouTube and on Instagram. I have enjoyed stopping by each week showing you different ways to use the same paper pack. I hope that you have been enjoying my videos as well as the other collaborators. Speaking of collaborators, don't forget when you're done with my video today that you go ahead and keep hopping on to the next collaborator. Everybody is linked in the description box below. Before I start talking more about what I created for this final week, I do want to give you a heads up. Last week I shared my desktop note center with you and I let you know that I would be back with a tutorial and a link to a free printable for the calendar. That is coming, I have not forgotten about you. But I'm currently doing a giveaway, it's called No Spend November, and I've had to make quite a few videos for that so I can finish it up by this Friday. I am hoping that I will be back tomorrow with the tutorial and link to the printable for this. So make sure to get subscribed if you're not already. For my project today, I of course used some paper from the Christmas Delivery Paper Pack and I created another printable to use. In addition, I have a medium sized binder clip and I used a piece of chipboard. This chipboard is the weight where if you went and got something padded at a copy shop, that this is what would be on the back. So it's nice and sturdy. Are you ready to see what I made? I don't know about you, but I love to pretend that I am organized and I love to make lists. I like to write out stuff I have to do each week. So I saw something similar to this at Joanne yesterday, but they wanted like $2.50 for 25 pieces of paper. Well, I knew that I could get three of those on an eight and a half by 11 and just print it here at home. So I came home, took some time to design that and I printed out a few sheets to cut up for today's project. It's kind of just like a slimline clipboard almost where I decorated the front and the back of the chipboard with some pattern paper from that pack. And then you'll notice I also decorated the binder clip. This just used a scrap from that pack that I had left over. I thought this pattern would be good for anything kind of wintry. It didn't just scream Christmas at me, so I'll be able to use this into the new year. I did have a few different ideas of what the weekly sheets could be used for. The first one for me, I thought it would be handy to keep down in my craft room, maybe put a command hook on the shelf that's next to me, and just write out what videos I need to have done for each day of the week. Another idea is if you like to meal plan, you could put what you're going to have for each day. And I want to explain a couple things to you, just fun things about my life. On Wednesday, I put down that we're having yo-yo. And we call that you're on your own. Whatever you can find, you can eat. And then on Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, we will of course just be our little family of three. And my husband isn't from the US, so Thanksgiving isn't a huge deal to him and he doesn't care for pumpkin pie or turkey. So we do something that's popular in his country and I just wrote down little pans. But basically we put this grill in the middle of the table and it comes with eight tiny pans and some wooden spatulas and we just cook our own food right there in front of us. I'll put a picture on the screen of a similar item. And if you want to check one of those out because it is a great 
time for a family. You just sit around, you cook slowly, you can talk. I will link some in the description box below. But just so you know, my daughter and I who do like pumpkin pie, I did get us a pumpkin pie and some cool whip to enjoy. Another thought is it could just be kind of a family command center, maybe on a hook on your refrigerator and just put down different things that you're going to be doing that week. Or if you have kids and lots of different activities, you could keep track of that. The binder clip at the top, of course, keeps everything together. And if you did want to hang it on a hook, it would just hang right off of there. This would be a quick, easy gift for you to make as a hostess gift or something for a coworker or a friend that you know that likes to stay organized or at least have it appear to stay organized. And just like with last week's item, I will be back with a little tutorial and I will give you a link to this printable that if you're a subscriber, you can download for free. Let me know in the comments below what you would keep track of if you were to use this weekly idea. If you enjoyed my video today, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to continue to go see what everybody else has created this week. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.